Oh yeah, what's up guys? It's Cruz Pike. My friends call me Big C. Back in action. I'm back in heartbeat today. And I'm going to show you some of my favorite moments from a recent Apple Vision Pro review. This was reviewed by the Wall Street Journal. And while I generally don't read the Wall Street Journal, I thought they did a great job reviewing it. Now, as you can imagine, a thorough review of the Apple Vision Pro is going to be a long one. So I just went and used the heartbeat tool to get some of the best moments. And of course, if you want to use the tool, you can download it. Link is in the description below. Okay, so I'm on H.KI, and I'm going to go ahead and click on the first moment, and let's roll. All right, so here we are inside Heartbeat H.KI. Again, link is in the description below. So in this review, which is about nine minutes long, which is on the shorter end for most reviews, I found about 12 things that really caught my attention. And of course, I used the Heartbeat tool here, the little trusty heart, to go ahead and make note of them. So let's get right into it here. I'm going to click on the first one, which is about typing on the Apple Vision Pro. I was all set up to do some real work, except one big problem. Yeah. This is typing. Yeah, it's a struggle for anything longer than a quick message. So if anybody here knows how to type, it's of no real value <laughs> in the Apple Vision Pro. All those people that took that did Mavis Beacon teaches typing when you were a kid and you know how to touch type, yeah, no real value. However, there is a workaround. Let's skip forward here to 204, and I'll show you where typing does make sense, although it's a lot more expensive, I should add. The real game changer for getting work done? Adding in a Mac. We are connected. Yes, you get a giant yeah. desktop for your Mac apps, and you can run Vision Pro apps right next to them. And you too can have this for the low, low price of... Yeah, so there you go. That That's basically... The point. So if you have a lot of money or if you, you know, work on a Mac for a living, uh, I actually have a MacBook Pro uh, and uh, it cost me a fortune and I'm still paying it off, by the way. But if you're willing to combine the $3,500 Vision Pro and the 2000 some odd dollar MacBook Pro for the basic version, more expensive for the big, big ones. Yeah, you're looking at a huge price tag. But if you go there, it's apparently bloody great. So just keep that in the back of your head. If you got money to burn, maybe burn it here. Anyways, let's skip forward here. I want to talk next about video calls. She goes into great depth on how video calls work on the Apple Vision Pro. A video call in the headset, it can't capture your entire face. Most of the Vision Pro's cameras are pointed outward. Makes sense. So Apple scans your face to create a 3D stand-in for you. Smile Fair. with your mouth closed. Capture complete. This is creating persona. What is going on with my cheeks? There you go. So that's in a nutshell, uh, without the cameras inside so much, they're all outward facing. So it scans your face and it tries hard. But uh, as you can see here, she got a little bit of squirrel cheeks. Uh, and apparently in some of the voice calls she had, yeah, it just, she just looked funny and people were kind of laughing at her. So again, it's first generation tech. It will no doubt get better. But uh, for $3,500, yeah, you know, Got to weigh those pros and cons. So anyways, let's skip forward a little bit here. Let's talk about overheating and how her experience was with that. Let's go. Is the combination of face timing and screen recording, but the top of this is very warm. I think it's time to switch into the, the dual loop band. Yeah. It feels pretty good. I ended up... So there you go. So it does get hot too. So I know it. a lot of people are worried about the weight because it's heavy and it... You got to do neck exercises like Mike Tyson used to do. Uh, but uh, yeah, you got to, it, it, it's heavy, no doubt. But yeah, there's a, yeah, there's some overheating issues too if you're really running it hard. So, you know, maybe you got to take a, take a break every once in a while. So that's an important part here. Let's look at the battery here next. I had to charge the battery every two to three hours. So most of the time I just stayed plugged into the wall. Makes sense. But not for my next activity. And here is our recipe, balsamic mushroom and sausage pasta. So there you go. The next part is the batteries. And I mean, if you're plugged into the wall, it's not really an issue, but you feel tethered, no doubt. You're stuck to the wall. However, they do have those huge batteries that, uh, you know, first gen tech again, but they're pretty big and you can get a holster for them. But, you know, it's, you know, it's 2024, so... Uh, just keep that in the back of your head. They got some pretty big batteries, and this thing runs pretty hot. 
Okay, here's probably the best use, second best use for an Apple Vision Pro. You're gonna love this one. Food was really natural, especially, I could cut onions all day in this. My eyes do not burn. All right, there you go. So, I mean, people were making fun of these as ski glasses and snowboard glasses, but these are onion cutters, people. Think about it. You can still see the onions. You put these big goggles on and your eyes don't get sore. Don't tell me that isn't the best $3,500 you could spend right now. And I don't like mushrooms. Why would you? I hate mushrooms. Anyways, so cutting onions. <laughs> All right, let's get forward a little bit. Let's talk about Netflix, YouTube apps, those types of things and how they are kind of connected or not connected inside the Apple Vision Pro. Apple TV Plus, Disney Plus, and Paramount Plus but no Netflix or YouTube apps. You have so there you go, you've got it right there. You gotta watch them in the browser. So T Apple TV, Disney, Paramount, good to go. Netflix, YouTube, not good to go. So in a lot of ways, it's incomplete. Uh, now the Apple TV makes sense and Disney was even brought on the stage for their initial, uh, un, 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 whatever the hell it's called, where they show every, to the world. Uh, but uh, there you go. So Netflix and YouTube, they're not on there at least right now. That may be changing in the future. Let's get forward a little bit more here. Prescription inserts, yes. Okay, so if you've got glasses, check this out. And glasses on. You have to get prescription inserts to use the Vision Pro. Wow. Just click in like that. Wow, crazy. So literally, click in, plug and play inserts for those of you that you know, need glasses or have glasses, you can get these prescription inserts. So that's crazy. Like I never would have thought about that, but uh, it's a thing. So there you go. If, you, if you've got glasses and you're on the fence, maybe that'll tip you over. Okay, let's keep going a little bit here. This is a, the, the other really good use for these glasses. Check this out. Hi. And I only wore them briefly to record some video. Siri, record spatial video. Nope, you gotta press the button. Pulls on. You could literally use these as skiing goggles. So the memes are alive and they're alive and well, but it's also, she's also recording uh, with the spatial recording. So let's see what happens here. Gloves on. All right. Here we go. The Vision Pro's ability to record and then watch spatial or 3D images and videos is pretty great. Okay, so it's, you can record. So instead of, think about a use case where instead of walking around with your phone or recording video or, you know, using a selfie stick or a gimbal or whatever, you can literally record while skiing or walking or running or whatever with these, uh, with the headset on. So something to keep in mind. Let's skip forward to the last one here, which is the uh, movies. Let's go right there. Now, it gives you a pretty great way to work and watch movies. Is that worth $3,500? Yeah, I don't know. That's between you and your bank account. But in those 24 hours, I could see Apple's future vision here. So there's her wrap up. So if you're a worker, like we talked about earlier, you got a Mac and you do these types of things for a living, you're maybe you're a coder or a video editor, especially a video editor or a Photoshop user, etc. This could be a really good thing for you. Um, if you just want to use it to watch movies and you watch movies alone a lot, like me, forever alone, also a potential good use case. But it's 3500 bucks. So there you go, guys. That is the Wall Street Journal's quick but to the point review. Let me know if you're going to pick one up. Is it worth the money? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.